little dad that key can stop just super saying wanna be. I ain't gonna be no present with your family, they ugly. You can keep your cousin, most people puzzling. You want my time is by the hour and I need a hundred. I see your ship and see a sunken, missing me. She keep on cutting, she a keeper, love a hot box, a beaming bucket. My demon, she seen a sucker, she bring me, need me so fucking here for long haul. Press hold to God calls. Na, 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 na. Transformers. Da, Welcome. Na. <laughs> Welcome to the Gay Lizard Association. Honestly, I think you nailed it. I think that might just be the name of this podcast Let's with me do and it. Charlie. <laughs> what, what is it? What the gay say? the gay lizard association. Okay. <laughs> you are the leader of the gay lizard association. We Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's uh this is a bipartisan <laughs> association. Let's uh Well, <laughs> We can talk about that. So wait, okay, hold Maybe. on, hold on, hold on. Is the Gay Lizard Association the four of us when we all do a podcast? I would say. Okay, so me and Charlie, when we do our own thing, we'll just have to still come up with a name eventually. No, you could, it could be like an offshoot of that title, though, like off the Gay Lizard <laughs> Association. It could be like just... The two cool lizards. <laughs> yeah, the coolest lizards in the heap. <laughs> a reptile dysfunction. Look at ah! A reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Did you steal that from something? Did you just make that up? I just, I just, that was all me, dude. I, have I mean, read, I have to write that one down. It may have come from, I mean, someone else may have said it before, but I, that was off the rip. He's, you rip things, dude. You rip them. Oh, dude. Ooh, whoa. That was good. Don't, don't make lizard sounds. You're gonna get us all gay and gay and uh, <laughs> lizardy. <laughs> gay is this? You're gonna get us all gay associated. <laughs> Do you want to see my cowboy hat? <laughs> Sure, two percent. I would send me a picture. <coughs> I want to see your pup. I want to see that my hat. So, okay, <laughs> so now I have to show everybody the cowboy hat. I guess so. God damn it! <laughs> he asked everybody. Can we pull that up <laughs> when we get it? Well, Jamie. I wonder if that's him. Jamie. I'm not Jamie. Don't you dare! Oh, um, that wasn't him. Call yet. him Jamie. Don't call me Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you pull it up? Don't I? Jamie. I he hasn't sent it to me. <laughs> he hasn't sent it. Pull that up, <laughs> Jamie. He hasn't. J-Mo! <laughs> I love when Mark's on. <laughs> yeah. so, give it a goog, J-Mo. <laughs> Dude, no. Why are you so as give much as g- me? Why do you listen so much more as uh, the same as me? Give it a goog. No, you don't. Give it. Give no, it. you don't say it. Give it. No, you don't You don't say it because you say it bad. Give it a goog, dude. No, dude, you're saying it <laughs> bad. You're saying it wrong. Like anybody, I know. That I'm was horrible. I'm trying to make it sound like anybody. I'm you're just saying it. Voice. You're saying it bad. Stop saying it bad. You shouldn't say it at all if you can't say it ah. good. No, this is, un- this <laughs> is unacceptable. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. That's comedy. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, my phone is done being a phone. <coughs> my friends I met set it down. At, uh, <laughs> not in, in a very intimate way, but they uh, they went to a show. It was him, Shane Gillis, Burt Kreischer. Oh, that's a great show. They got to take pictures with uh, Mark uh, afterward. They must have gone to the... Uh, he said something about anal to one of my friends. Uh, anal. I got it. He might have just said anal because <laughs> he no, says that he a lot. Like, he was like, my friend said something to him, and Mark was like, well, fuck me in the ass. Or like oh, yeah, that's fun like that. now. Fuck me in the ass. Uh, and then he said they were. everyone wanted to get a picture with Bert. Oh, I'm w- game. He wasn't there, <laughs> but there was a food truck that he... Like sponsors or whatever, and Bert came out of nowhere on this like little motorized bike <laughs> while everyone's out like doing the the meet and greet stuff. Like pulls up to the food truck and like tells everyone, "I guys, I'm not here to take pictures. I'm just hungry. I want to get a snack." And uh, so he got they like hooked him up with a box and he took off. Uh, so they couldn't get a picture with Bert, but I thought that was That's funny. pretty funny. Mark, I would I would want the picture with Mark anyway. Like Bert's cool. Everyone's got pictures with Bert. Yeah. <laughs> I want pictures with Mark. I want pictures with Shane. <laughs> yeah. Like they're they're the they're the fucking elite ones right now. Like yeah, I, I like I like the whole like the league of comedians we have right New now. New York comedy. Well, I mean New York comedy, but like there's a lot of other comics all over that are still killing it and doing great. What? Bill Burr's my favorite. Bill Burr's pretty great. Yeah. I, for a long He's time, good. I didn't like the top level comedians, and now like the the comedians I loved I ten years ago are now all the top, and I still love all them. But yeah. now I love all the up and comers that are like killing it, yeah. like Shane and Mark and. Fuck I it. find them to be relatable. Yes, uh, more so than I guess c- comedians were when I was a kid. Yeah, I love Chris Stefano. Yeah, he's amazing. Him, uh, uh, Andrew Schultz. I went and saw him. Oh, I like Andrew Schultz a lot too. He knuckle bumped me. I felt like a king that day, <laughs> dude. And their, uh, him and Ari Shafir, both of their uh, uh, 
specials did great on YouTube. Yes, too. I'm yeah. excited for fuck, the fuck that Joe, Joe Rogan's talking about doing his on YouTube. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. I mean, Someone, I forget. He had another comedian on. They were like, so are you going to try and like make some money on this special? Like they, they just know him. So they go to like the, the funny answers right away. They're like, are you trying to even make money? I mean, Spotify fucking <laughs> got you. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you're right, aren't you? And he was like, put it on YouTube, man. Make it free. <laughs> like, I can't remember who it was, but someone was just like talking shit. Like, you don't need to make any money with it. You don't You don't need any money. You have all the money, Joe. <laughs> just let us all see it for free. <laughs> and Joe's like, what the fuck, dude? Is your fucking Netflix subscription bad? Like, that sounds like something Joe would say. Which Joe? Oh, well, uh, he'd be the one. He might have been talking he, to he himself. Insp- I think he inspired Ari Shafir to put his on YouTube. <laughs> but I mean, sure. he's getting paid. I mean, Joe Rogan could. Well, Ari also was not gonna get a deal with anybody for a while after all the uh, Co- Kobe shit he said. That's kind of a big reason he put. I'm it on not YouTube. familiar with the Kobe shit that he said. So when celebrities die, particular ones, mm-hmm. Ari's way of dealing with celebrity death, even when his friends, like when Ralphie died, I it doesn't matter. I don't buy that at all. What? I don't buy it. It's his way of dealing with celebrities. Not dealing. Either. It's like a joke he does to his fans. He does it with everybody. He does it with. He's done it when his friends have died. He's done it when people like Kobe died. He just goes crazy like he hated that person and goes on a rant on Instagram about how bad oh, really? they were as a person. Yeah. <laughs> and like when Kobe that died. That seems suicidal for, uh, for, you know, for your career. Yeah. Yeah. And it, was, it wasn't, It was to be fair, for a long time. Like he, Again, he did it. He, d- he was like best friends with Ralphie. And he did it with Ralphie talking about how he fucking like caused 9-11. Like crazy shit. Like he'll just yeah. say crazy, reckless shit. Yeah. And when Kobe died, he was like, uh, fucking hated Kobe Bryant. That was a rapist. Like, all this crazy shit. Yeah, like, he said some crazy shit. And it was, and like, he's, like, he ended up coming out with a statement like, look, I said all that literally when I saw the headline that Kobe Bryant died. I didn't know his daughter was there. I didn't know that there were other kids. Well, I don't know. I don't don't know Kobe. (laughs) But he, you know, he said that he was sorry. But, like, that shit fucking canceled him for a minute. And people were still upset. But. Can't well, stop yeah, him from putting like, it up on he YouTube. He said like some cra- he said like wild crazy shit. Yeah, he about said some Kobe fucking Bryant and his daughter. But yeah, no, he didn't say anything about the daughter in the video. But the daughter's not it wasn't mentioned a video. At all. It was just a post. But no, it's a video. It's, it's a post. It's a video. I've seen the video. I He's read the post. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, you can go back and forth on it. Two <laughs> things cannot be true at the same time. <laughs> exactly. That's all we know. Well, there's a post and a video. I'm but gonna, <laughs> but he definitely uh, did a video. What's not that I didn't find very funny in it at all. Personally, I didn't find the Kobe Bryant stuff funny. Yeah. Personally, yeah, it's, it's for his it, little yeah, group of people. It's that fine like that it. he did it. I don't give a fuck. Per- I, you know, it sucks. It's a shitty take, but whatever. I don't care. What's really funny is what he did right after that, because the next, the next person like celebrity that died was Bernie Madoff. Oh, he no. said, "Look, I learned my lesson from the Kobe thing. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything disrespectful. <laughs> we got to like, hey, we got to take a moment. A man has died. <laughs> come, come in. <laughs> we all need to have respect. <laughs> that's 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 why we love art. <laughs> that's truly the funniest thing you could have possibly done. Yeah, in the circle. It was just like he's set the best. up fucking punchline. <laughs> Amazing punchline. He's so good." Ari's one of those like misunderstood genius comedians to me. I love him. When we went and when we went and saw him in Miami, the joke he did about stealing a bowl <laughs> from Walmart <laughs> is one of my favorite live performance jokes because it just is one of the most relatable ones ever. Because he was, I'm not gonna do the joke. I almost started doing the joke, but it was so good. It was so good. We gotta go up and see some comedy at the Comedy Zone. I've never seen a stand up show. Never once. Never once. I really want to. But I just haven't, haven't been able to. I'm going on in February. Haven't been able to. Who are you seeing again? Nick Mullen. I might have to go. That's on the 4th? Yeah. He's like buddies with Tim Dillon, Shane, and... He's uh, with them for the show, or is... No, 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 okay. no. I'm just saying, like, these are his contemporaries. Oh, okay, like, okay. People that he like. He's done many podcasts with... Yeah. My I wish Tim would do the fucking Comedy Zone. He's too big now. He, he sells out fucking Honestly, like, theater theaters. whenever he yeah. does anything with Tim Dillon, I always want to listen to it because both of... They're, the two of them go off with each other really well. And anytime yeah. he's with Shane Gillis, I always want to listen to it because they go off of each other really well. They're just... They're, they're really very, good together. They're akin... Yeah. Not the same thing, but in the same brothers from the same pool. The brothers in Two comedy. Two brothers. Two brothers nope, from no, New York. Cutting off right now. In comedy. <laughs> it's funny. All right, now let's start this podcast. <laughs> yes. So now the podcast is here. We're we're live now. We haven't been live until this moment. It's not true, but 
We'll pretend like it's true. We'll pretend like it's true. What did you want to? You, you sounded like you had a thing you wanted to go right into with that. Uh, no, it's just it felt. It just it feels like. <laughs> no. <we're puttering>. <laughs> <laughs> we all heard that, right? Yeah. That wasn't just me. Yeah. Okay. It feels like we're puttering here. Nobody's like caught up. Let's catch up. What are you fucking feeling, dude? What are you feeling like? Whoa, dude. Why are you fucking like this? Whoa, Honestly. Dude. Whoa, dude. I had Answer a crazy dream. You want to hear my dream? Yes. Okay. No, so not I, really. Charlie. What was I'd your like dream? Hear like? the dream. <laughs> Church, I don't dream. <laughs> Charlie, I want to hear You don't dream at all? Dream. I never know that's not true. Uh, I dream rarely when I do dream, they're usually very spiritual and, you know, uh no like movie meaningful. scripts have come from your dreams yet. <laughs> no, no, not really. Uh just a lot of I don't know. It's, I don't it's any nocturnal emissions? <laughs> uh any what? Not do you poop emissions? when you sleep? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any what? Define it before you say it again. You're about to say nocturnal emissions again, you son of a bitch. You <laughs> go outside and buy Do I like talk in my back. sleep? Do you wet dreams? I've uh, had, I had one wet dream before. What? Tell one? Me this, Only tell one? Tell me the story, Charlie. One like crazy one. Charlie, tell me a story. <laughs> that story? Yes. <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, long time ago. Well, like there was this school. dolphin. <laughs> All I remember is uh, being in like a dorm room. Type in the dream, yeah, okay, yeah, because there are bunk beds, and I'm with this much older woman, and she's coming on to me. How much is much? Super hot, she's like 40. Okay, yeah. and you're in high school, yeah, okay, uh. hot, and yeah, she came on to me, and then Plot we, st- twist is much, is we much started easier. having sex <laughs> on the top bunk, and that was just pretty much it. <laughs> I woke up extremely aroused, <laughs> still, <laughs> I'm usually tired. I, <laughs> <laughs> we started. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't finish. Bunk. On the top bunk. Chris, That's did awesome. you ever have a wet dream? <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> you have? Yeah, many times. I've never had that. Never? Ever. Never once. Not one time. That's crazy. Tell me about two of yours. <laughs> I don't want to. Do it. <laughs> one time, look, listen, they're dreams. I don't get I, how they have okay. her, okay? One time I was robbed your deck and I was fucking <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> okay, in in like a spa, like in a in like an empty giant like steam room spa where like there's pillars. Ho- Think the gym locker room from uh Chris just Lancaster. know at this moment. Yeah. 10 years from now. <laughs> without you having any idea about it and like you're going to forget about this moment. And Rob Deerdeck's going to no, see you're it? You're going to forget about this day. Chanel's going to see it. You're going to forget about all of this. What do you say? I'm going to arrange for us to be doing something along, the, at least for vari- hopefully a podcast of this variety. Chanel West Coast is going to fucking walk in. Right? <laughs> and I'm going to make sure we play this goddamn I clip. mean, look. I Chris. Think, okay, okay. Bro, you shut can, up. You can Listen do it. I don't, Listen to me. Let me explain Listen, myself. No, let me finish. Finish. That's what she said in the in the, in the dream. I, never I think that's what finish. got me. I think that's what like ah, oh, I was like you know. This I think that's what fucking triggered things. This is my vow. Yeah, it will happen, okay. Chris. I I I hope it does. I hope you, you make know, it. You know, like a vision board kind of thing. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna manifest this. I'm gonna make this shit happen, dude. <laughs> I'm going to manifest this. Okay. It has. To. Okay. I don't know why. Something about why you were telling me that story, just brotherhood wise. <laughs> Brother to brother, <laughs> yeah. I have to make this happen. Well, I hope you don't show her this part. I like, I like <laughs> Chanel. She's cool, but like, I would not be into Chanel. <laughs> like, I would not want to be with Chanel. That she's not my type. Like, I fuck with Chanel, the human being. She seems kind of like cool or whatever. Sounds but like, like, you like fuck with the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not. The position was strange. Like, I, like I, I, I like held her. <laughs> Like th- it was like forward. You it was, held her it was like weird. She was like a up in the air. Doll? Like she was up. Yeah. Like basically, it was. That's weird. It was a dream. I mean, I was superhuman. Uh-huh. Rob Deerdeck. <laughs> I, I had I had powers. <laughs> That's cool. But is that uh, how you view Rob Deerdeck subconsciously? He is a superhero. Is he your role model? No, a little. Yeah, <laughs> I like Rob Deerdeck. He's cool. He's uh, I think Rob Deerdeck in the. Not Fantasy Factory days, but the uh, what's the show? The band? Nah, 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 what's that show called? Ridiculousness. The ridiculousness era Rob Deerdeck. That's like my fucking dream job. I would love that job. America's that would be a cool job. If, it yeah, seems like it would be extremely America's easy. PG-13 funniest home videos. Yeah, it's, it's all scripted. <laughs> yeah, but you know they still find the videos on the internet. They don't... We'll be back from the break as I fuck Chanel back. <laughs> <laughs> as, me and Chanel are going to go to the spa real quick, everybody. Uh, no, it's li- literally like the reactions of the celebrity hosts. Like nobody's saying anything. Like, yeah, it's all, I'm like, sure. Written. 
I'm sure. I mean, whatever. It's still funny. I like how she tries to match her outfits with them. Like the guest that comes on. Yeah. Like, what was it? Ice-T came on one time. And she would, like, put on gold chains. I'm glad she doesn't. Jersey. I'm glad music isn't her only thing she did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She was bad at music. Yeah. <laughs> She was I've never heard her music. Oh, I'm glad Good. you have lucky yeah, bastard. You're lucky. Play, yeah. play, play her music. No, no I'm not no, allowed. No. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Just for us. Twitch will hit me. YouTube will come over with a baseball bat. Everyone's Charlie, gonna cut come. your mic off. I'm going to play it on my phone. No, 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 Chanel no, 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 will no. walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel will show up, and I'll have to tell her that story. <laughs> I don't want to. Damn, dude. That's a fucking heavy price to pay. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. I don't want to tell it. But I will if Chanel shows up. Faith, you ever had any nocturnal emissions? <laughs> <laughs> I like this part of the podcast where Mike asks us all the same question. <laughs> Michael definitely talks in his sleep. I'm still not sure what it means. Apparently, I do too. <laughs> I've had humans tell me he'd that. He'd be like, he'd be talking about work. He'd be like, "Don't touch that box." <laughs> <laughs> no, there's. Well, never mind. Don't touch that box. Don't touch that box. What's in the box? I saw money in that box. It's mine. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing with it? I'm taking it back to the end. I'm like, okay. You'll talk to him? Yeah. <laughs> you, you we will have a full conversation while he's sleeping. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. Apparently, I, apparently I do the, me and Michael do the same thing, I, I guess. I do that too. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Let's sli- talk I sleep. turned around one time. I was making a video, and I was like, yeah, boy. And he was like dead asleep, and he <laughs> turns around and goes, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I answer the phone in my sleep a lot, apparently. <laughs> I've had whole the phone? I've had whole conversations you, you with Creighton. Do. We've had we've had Holy conversations. Is that true? That's scary. <laughs> yeah, I've I've had many conversations I had no idea about. I I got fucking like Dude, for real funnier? angry at Creighton a few times because he like <laughs> he like in my head made decisions about podcast guests without me. And like, look, I'm all for having people in the podcast as long as I'm aware it's going to happen. Yeah. Not when like he shows up with a friend that I barely know and wants to do a podcast with them because he thinks they're interesting. Yeah, it like it fucks with me because I don't it it fucks up the dynamic. You I know what I mean? It. I don't yeah. like it. And one time, and look, I love you, Coda. You know I love you. This was in the beginning. This was when things uh, when I didn't like it. He he got our friend Coda and was like, uh, he he called me. <laughs> he said, "Hey man, can uh can I bring Coda on the podcast today?" And apparently, I sounded totally lucid and everything, and like. I wake up later after apparently saying totally Coda can I love Coda Coda can build the fuck all this stuff and I did I like Coda as a person but I didn't want him just showing up on the podcast yeah. without me knowing like I didn't I wouldn't like it if it was my other best friends that have never done the podcast did with me before. Did you fucking kill this guy? No, <laughs> just listen. <laughs> I'm trying to set up the context. Someone's phone is near a wire and it's fucking killing me. <sighs> Move your phone, thank you, sir. <laughs> um. Anyway, we uh. I wake up for real eventually, <laughs> and I have like three texts from Coda saying, "Hey man, I just want to let you know when I show up, uh, I'm gonna bring this and bring that, and uh, I want to like me and Creighton were talking about doing this thing and blah blah blah." And I was like, <laughs> and they called Creighton. I was like, "All right," I texted Creighton a fucking paragraph. I was like, "Cause he was at work," <laughs> and I was like, "Hey man, listen, man, you can't fucking do th- this. Is the last you said this, you've done this like five times. Cause he had done it a couple times. And that's one thing once or twice before I even established I don't like it." <laughs> Yeah. And blah, 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 blah. But I had well established I didn't like when he did shit like this. And he's in the middle, like, literally checking someone out at the register. Like, I could hear it. And he calls, like, hey, man, you said I could. <laughs> and I was like, no, I fuck it. He said, dude, I called you this morning. We talked for, like, six minutes. Like, what are you talking about? I was like, what? And I put it on speaker, and I looked at my recents. And there was, like, a six-and-a-half, seven-minute call on my phone. I was like, we, we talked about it this morning. And he was like, yeah. I was like. I think I, I think you, I think I answered in my sleep, and he was like, "Really?" <laughs> and then he goes, "My friend answered me on the, like he's talking to the fucking he's checking out. He's like talking to strangers. Yeah, he's like my friend Some, like, answered me this morning in the, sli- in in the sleep. Line. Yeah, and we're ha- and he's having a dispute about it. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's nice. Um, I-, I would like my celery. <laughs> can I please have my eggs, sir? <laughs> but yeah, so that that shit fucking went happened and went bonkers. And, uh, that's wouldn't it be well, that's fu- funny. I've never. Yeah. So now I have to be like when I wake up, I have to check my recents and see if I made calls that day. And it happens. Wouldn't it be funny if lot. you were a sleeper? Agent? You make calls. You don't just answer them. You make I, calls. Well, answer or I've made a couple, but most of the time it's <laughs> answering. Because yeah. so, sometimes wouldn't I'll, it be funny if you were like a sleeper cell? That would be funny. Uh, it's like you're, someone you're just says someone. Code words yeah, someone has to say yeah, like yeah. grapefruit, dan- grapefruit dandelion. It's like <laughs> I'm <a bit> Russian. <laughs> like I just I just show up as my fucking spy cell. But uh. That'd be cool. That would be pretty cool, actually. But um, 
Uh, that wait. momentum would have kept rolling if you let me finish my goddamn. <laughs> I was well. I was Instead not done. Immediately I was not done answering going, Charlie's <laughs> question. I wasn't done answering Charlie's question. You messed up my momentum first. You don't take a break between fucking thirteen minute stories. <laughs> I was enjoying it anyway. You silly goose. <laughs> not you, Michael's a silly goose. Um, I'll wake up, and I think what happens is I'll miss a call, like not wake up at, until the end of the ring, and like go to reach over and it end, and I'll call them back right away. Because that's happened where I've woken up and seen, yeah. like, miss call, recall, have a conversation, yeah. wake up and forget about it. Damn. Like, that shit happens a lot. <laughs> that's and, crazy. Yeah. Like, yesterday's podcast happened because I fucking didn't know I called, or that Creighton called me in the morning when I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and he woke, and like, it, I woke up and answered and went back to sleep and then looked at my phone. I was like, oh shit, a Creighton call. That could mean so many things. Because <laughs> when it's Creighton, it usually means I promised a podcast yeah. spot or said maybe. <laughs> yeah. And so we have to have that discussion and figure things out. <coughs> or it's my dad and something. It's always something. Like I've, I've answered yeah. so many people and had no recollection of the call. It's crazy. And Michael does talk a lot in his sleep. He used to, he used to do, when we were kids, he would recite stand up. <laughs> he would really? just, he would just do like John Mulaney bits. He would do Tom Segura, like whoever he's we listened to on Pandora sleep? the night before. Yeah. Like he wouldn't the recite fuck? the whole thing, but you'd hear him like echoing little, little nuggets. He of just does their laugh like, ha ha. <laughs> well, he'd, he'd say I little just hit the beats. Yeah. He would just hit the little beats of their thing. Like, it was, it was really funny. 11 times. <laughs> 11 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the stuff like that. Is it <laughs> Tom Jones is what's new physically? Like he would just say the little, <laughs> the little tiny beats from the story. Exactly, it's it was awesome. I guess I wonder if that's hereditary because our father mumbles in his sleep, but it's not like you and me because apparently we fucking. I've talked, I've had conversations with people. I've I've do that too. I actually know people who do it also. It's probably I guess it's a common thing or fairly common. Uh, I used to sleepwalk. Oh, see that? I couldn't. That would fuck with me. I don't think I do. I used to a lot when I was a kid. I used to, like, scare the shit out of my parents. And the one time I think I walked out of the house, um, I would wake up and (laughs) my phone would be in the (laughs) fridge or something like that. Like, I would just put... One time my dad uh, found me in the bathroom sitting crisscross applesauce on top of the dryer (laughs) asleep. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) But sitting up. He found me like, like that. Some like exorcist shit. I know. <laughs> Imagine you did it all in the dark, and he's like cutting lights on, looking for you. And he <laughs> yeah, he, did he opens it, and it's off, and he cuts it on. And you're just fucking sitting there, arms up, <laughs> Buddha pose, <laughs> like and meditating. Yeah, just <laughs> 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 yeah. That's uh, that's I used to. Awesome. And uh, I, I got up uh, one time and yelled at my cousin. We were both. Sl- I was staying over at his house, and I fell asleep on the couch next to him. Uh, he was. We were on adjacent couches, and. Uh, <laughs> I got up and I yelled at him for something that happened in my dream I was having. Like I was wearing a hat. My hat flew Oh dude. I, my hat flew off. But I woke up. I like I was in that weird Yes, para- that middle para- that para- middle ground. Para- yeah. Where you're still figuring out if you're awake yeah. or not. And I got up and I yelled at him and I was dude. like, Where the fuck is my hat? Good. And he was sitting there and he looked up at me all frightened, like he had no idea. <laughs> I just got up out of nowhere and started cussing him out like yes. like he took my shit. I've done that to Gunner a few times on the phone where he would for the for a while me and Gunner were going to the gym uh that he goes to and he would come over here and like if it was the night after I was at work, I would just tell him, like I would text him when I went to bed, like, Hey, I'm gonna try and get three or four hours sleep. Just call me and wake me up when you leave your house so I'm up and ready to go by the time you get here. Yeah. And he called me one time and I answered the phone and I was trying to explain why I couldn't go because of what was happening Mm -hmm. in my dream. Yeah. (laughs) And he was like, Chris, what the fuck are you saying? Like it was he was worried. He thought like I was something was wrong with me. He like came over still and like tried he like came up and made sure I was okay. Yeah. (laughs) And like but I was I was like down here on the couch. Not came up. I was down here on the couch sleeping. And uh, he was like, dude, are you good? You were saying crazy shit on the phone. <laughs> and I was like still asleep. Like I just stayed on the couch. That happened to me blackout drunk one time too. Something that. See, I feel like. Something that I will never live down. It eats me up inside. And it's something like there was just this day. I apparently went off. And I was a cr- like I was a very different person. Like people were really worried about me. I didn't even find out what happened for like several years. I didn't get all the details for yeah. years. Oh, after. you you won't. Some people w- didn't want to. Some people. My roommate didn't talk to me for like two weeks. And Damn. Yeah, I like broke up with a girl. 
Oh my god. That I really liked. <laughs> yeah. While you were fucked up. During this, yeah, I apparently went off on her in Damn. public in, fr- in front of, of in front of a bunch of people, and I pissed off. That could be a deal breaker for sure. I yeah, I pissed off the. I was working at a bar at the time, and I pissed off my owners. I left with like a hundred fifty dollar tab. Stuff I never do, like completely out of character, and I mean like. I almost ruined friendships, and apparently I just went off on, like, just went off on everybody, like, was angry, like a Damn. rage. and you don't, you have no recollection. I don't know why I was angry, don't know what I said, I'm afraid to ask more, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask more details, because, like, I feel so bad about it, but. Well, I mean, at least you I don't have know closure, where it came from. know where it, like, what happened. I don't. I mean, man, that stuff, I mean, I can, you know, those altered consciousnesses can really yeah. not mean much in terms of who you are, it could be, like, opening up parts of your brain you didn't even know were were like the you know the, the fucking wires are active <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean yeah dude there was one time i walked in and your dad's sleeping <laughs> and he was sleeping with one eye open and one eye shut oh yeah and it, it scared the shit oh it's out terrifying of me I, I oh i can't say that never mind i thought he was like <laughs> awake i was like right right <laughs> oh yeah He's oh, he's the weird. scariest one cuz he so he scary. sits like how i'm he sitting sits straight up man he's he straight like up this. and sleeps yeah. He sits straight up and down. Like but he'll and then he'll go like <laughs> like, like a buoy <laughs> in the water. <laughs> like he just fucking he just like falls and then fucking straight up again and just is sleeping and yeah. like he'll rotate a little. What's the worst is when he does that while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. It used to be fucking horrifying. Oh shit. He See, would just my, sleep uh, driving. Another thing it's, it's crazy the shit this guy would do. I remember one time we, I saw our dad? Father. Yeah, there's like we would be in the car and it's like he, you know he likes to sing. He likes to sing a lot. And so it's like he'd be in the middle a, of a lyric. So if there's a so, no, <laughs> the, no, say if there's a song on Say if there's a song on and he's like really into it, he's passionate about the song. He likes music, you know, and he's singing the song. He'll, he'll fucking get like into if it's like a tough little fucking it says I'll be. Everyone can't fucking I'll be. And it's closing his eyes. <laughs> it's like yeah, dude, you don't gotta belt that. It's just me. It's not like there's not an audience here. <laughs> yeah. One time, one time I uh, your your father, I was coming over to your house, uh, the one that burned down. And uh, he was out in his, like, sitting in a truck in the drive, just like in the driver's seat, just chilling, had been there for a while. And we were hanging out for, it had been several hours. And I remember walking out at one point, and your dad was, had the door open and had started getting out of the truck and fell asleep. And he fell asleep hanging out of the truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I went back inside and I told Michael, I was like, yo, is your dad okay? I thought he was dead. Yeah, I think your dad's dead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he was like, Michael goes, no, he's fine. He's probably asleep. He's fine. He's just sleeping. And then I was like, well, it's cold out there. <laughs> and the truck's running. And he's yeah, like, he does it's it all cool. the time. He, it's cool. We, and then we go, oh, we hang fine. out. He we needs the heat on. The heat's keeping him okay. Like, we hang don't worry out. About it. We hang out for a couple hours and <laughs> I go to leave and he's in the exact the same, same position. position. Yes, yes. Yeah, that was crazy. All the time. <laughs> Bro, Michael's the same way. If we go to hang out with anyone, decide to drink with them, he's like asleep on their couch and just like a position. He, yeah, like he did this. that at Graham's. Wait, 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 wait. Was he, was he all right? Your dad? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, he's okay today. I mean, you, you told me he was fine, so. <laughs> we believe. He believed you. I, I didn't go sh- poke him or anything. I was just a joke. I didn't go poke him or anything. You I felt poke like him with a stick like a bug. <laughs> he was like, do something. You, you made me feel like he was fine, so I just. I was just like, all right, well. I can instill pretty decent uh, confidence. Uh, was that when he was at the warehouse? <laughs> no, this, no, was, this was at the house that burned down. Oh, okay. Do you not listen to people when they tell stories? Well, when he s- I heard the burn down. I couldn't tell if he said after or not at the beginning, so I didn't want to like inquire until the end. Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the, the story. No, he very clearly said it. Me and I, I have a problem of I have a problem watching stuff with a group of people. Yeah. Like unless like if we're at the theater like a watching a movie, that's one thing. But like. We went to go watch the UFC fights, like at Ruts, and it was like a little party. You know, it was like fifteen of us there. Dude, me and Alim knocked the fuck out. Gunner f- knocked out. Like, there's like four of us just asleep in the middle of the fucking Adesanya in the middle, fights. In the middle of like a restaurant. No. UFC fight is at Ruts house. Oh, Ru- Ruts. Yeah, our yeah. friend. I yeah. thought that was a bar. No, no, no sorry. So I didn't want to say like his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, I think you're saying easy. too much now. Yeah. Honestly. Why are you saying it like I'm that? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it, it felt like I... Can't I just, just say at a friend's house? Can't say we were at a friend's house watching a fight? Okay, I'm sorry. Jesus, man. Honestly, why, why are you getting so serious? Like, you don't do this. Like, You're going to make me think Rut's like, scared of things. <laughs> <laughs> like, think about other people for one time. 
We went and saw. Were you with us? Yeah, you went and saw Avatar with us. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I, dude. I'm. I see so many movies with groups of people. I now. made the plan with you. <laughs> I, it was That's my true. thing. He did. <laughs> it's true. Well, it's because I ended up going with Gunner and Rut. <laughs> no, Gunner, you ended up going with Gunner Rut and me. Like it was my thing. Yeah, but you guys drove separate. Is what I mean. Like, okay. My I experience get seeing it was get, of I the get, day. Get, the get, night get, was I with get, them. I get. I get. I get what you mean. Was it a good movie? Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I I liked it a lot. <laughs> it was very good. I've heard really good things about it. Yeah, it's it. I've heard also basic ass things about it. But you saw it. I know. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> then who cares? <laughs> no, but the points aren't like wrong. I I just enjoyed the shit out of the movie. Yeah, did you see the first one? Yeah, long time yeah, ago. I saw yeah, so I haven't seen it in a while. I rewatched it the other night with a friend who had not seen it online, mm-hmm. and uh, we pretty sexy, right? What? The first one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so good. <laughs> the first one is like, there's a couple little moments, like at the very beginning when he gets in the Avatar body and walks around, where you can tell James Cameron was like, okay, animators, let's get to the good shit. And like, as yeah. soon as the good shit starts, like where he's like fucking doing, like as soon as he's trapped, like in the forest at night and has to like put get the spear and make fire, from that point on, the CGI is like a little bit, like a step above what it had been for the last 20 minutes. And then everything going forward is just way better because you could tell he really wanted to make it. It was almost like I was like in the mind of an editor, like, Ugh, let's get through all this fucking boring shit. <laughs> I want, yeah. I want to, I want to make the cool shit look cool. The first yeah. Avatar movie. I respect that. The first Avatar movie. James Cameron hired fucking time travelers. Yeah, it was to nuts. fucking animate that goddamn movie. Dude, it's the fucking. CG, it holds up so well. The, the, still, the scene where Jake Sully, Jake Sully falls into the river. And yes. his avatar interacts with water. It's a fake man in fake water. <laughs> Both are insane. Just just photorealistic in 2009. About, oh, okay. Yeah, the first one. In 2009. Yeah. I'm talking 2009. about... 2009. This is, this is this a guy, year after Avatar The Last Airbender ended. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> That's how old Avatar is. Do you remember the shit uh, Avatar The Last Airbender movie? Uh, don't even. We don't. Why are you bringing it up? We, could talk we about all it. forgot about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> how, just, dare, how dare it came you? Came across my mind for the first time. <laughs> we can talk Robert's. about it. They're doing a new uh, show, like the next Avatar. Nah. No, they are. The Avatar Studios is like the people, the guys Not who made happening. it. Not happening. It is. Did you Fake watch uh, <laughs> the Legend of Korra? Yes. Did you? No. <sighs> I haven't. None of it at it's all. Good, none of it at all. It's pretty great. It's av- it's av- it's the same guys. The same guys made yeah, it. Yeah, I, I knew so it was the same. I just it's very. It was made. It's. L- it would. I'm not saying you won't like it now. I'm saying you would have loved it if you watched it when it came out. Because it was made for the kids who are our age who watched Avatar The Last Airbender. It's yeah. still good. It's still great. Yeah, I've rewatched a lot of it. But, like, man, we 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 were spoiled as fuck, all of us, with Avatar and Legend of Korra coming out when they came out. Because yeah. it was legitimate. Like, Avatar, we were all Avatar. We were all Aang yeah. when that came out. You know, We were all that age. Yeah. And then, like, Legend of Korra comes out, and... They they age her up from season one to season four a little more than they do in the sh- like, you know, avatars over the course of like a summer, a summer, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's crazy. They don't age. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, sure, three, Legend of Korra is like years long. yeah, three, three or four year years. No, oh, oh, you mean the avatar? Legend of Korra is like three or four years from season one to season four, or maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, um, four four seasons. That's cool. Yeah, it's four seasons, but in between seasons three and four alone is a couple of years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but, but it's fucking dude. How cool it, is Tenzin? Hmm? Bro, don't, I, I want, I want him to watch it. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to make him come over here. And we're just going to watch this. JK Simmons. I'm down. <laughs> JK Simmons. Yeah. J Jonah. J Jonah Jameson. He, I, he's I a know character. Who that is. I know who that is. Do you, uh, did guy. you ever read the comics for Avatar The Last Airbender? No. The continuation? Why, why would you ask him that? No. Well, I didn't know. Why would you ask him that? He's into the show. I mean, just use basic inference, like. Well, he no, he didn't. He said he hasn't seen. That's not basic inference. He hasn't I do. seen Legend of Korra. This I do enjoy. The... I do enjoy comic books. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck you. It's not outside of the realm of possibility for me. But no, do you I want to Charlie, read them? Charlie, did you? Because they're great. <laughs> <laughs> I have them all. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'd li- I'd like to watch the show with you, and then maybe, oh, uh, you know, maybe then maybe yeah. I'd like the, to read them. The maybe cuddle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only Kiss. we can only watch them if we get to cuddle. <laughs> the the comics. Sticks. Are also she all written. E- she said even softer after we could cuddle. And then after you started, we can Hulu and home. She said, 
kiss. <laughs> she said it's so soft. <laughs> touch dicks a little. <laughs> uh, the comics are I mean, all written and illustrated the by the same guys who make who made the show. Uh, they just they just yeah. couldn't keep making it on the. I, I don't know why they couldn't, dude. The first two books in the I think there's like six different books of that. It was I don't know. It was something. Someone was touching something. <laughs> The first uh, two books out of the, like, six that they do are literally seasons of the show. Like, it's literally an incredible season of Avatar The Last Airbender if you just animate what's on the page. Yeah. And the cool. writing is so good because it's like literally the, I love writing. the animation style. Yeah, the animation is nuts. It's so good. and That's cool. And the, man, I could sit here and fangirl all day about them. They're, they're really good. The comics are really great. I have the, I have the first couple Legend of Korra ones. I just haven't read them yet. Because I'm not done with the Avatar ones. Because you're a homophobe. What? <laughs> because you're a dirty homophobe. That's a mean thing to say that is untrue. You're afraid of the legibity. <laughs> the what? <laughs> oh, that was sweet. <laughs> legibity. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's why they stopped. Leg- well, hmm, never mind. We gotta watch Legend of Korra. Do what? Nothing. I almost said a thing because of Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and it would have been a spoiler. <laughs> well, I'm using There's some uh, ladies kiss. I'm using inference. I was about to say I'm using my Son inference skills to put See, two and two together. Charlie's so much better than you at inference. <laughs> it is a skill on my resume. How dare you? Not you, him. How dare when you? He's signing with up the for glasses. jobs. Yeah. Like he's like, I can infer like a motherfucker. <laughs> detective Charlie. <laughs> detective Charlie reporting for duty. Charlie would be a fuck of a murder detective, dude. Yeah. He would solve the shit out of your murder. <laughs> I think so. One of you guys should get murdered. He would pin it directly. Michael, on let's me. murder each other and frame someone else each. With no motive to kill us. Well, yeah, exactly. Someone with no motive, but let's make everything point to them. So it'll be really confusing. I'm talking about like bloody knife in their hand. Yeah. Set them up. So yeah, well. like some crazy shit. Like they wake up with a knife in their home <laughs> and there's and no then my, my wife's the head ends victim. up in a box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that no, movie? no. Morgan Freeman's hand. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. We put a twist on a twist. <laughs> that movie holds up even better since Kevin Spacey ended up being a fucking freak in real life. <laughs> that yeah. movie is like like enhanced by his creepiness. It's in the fucking box. Yeah. Yeah. It's that movie's so good. It's why what disagree? Why, why is he so freaky again? I he he's like, a child molester. Yeah, he's like a child molester. Oh, yeah. He, that, yeah there's a kid right. who was on Star Trek who, when the kid was 14. Anthony Rapp. There you remember go. Remember his name. I'm sorry, dude. When he was 14 and Kevin Spacey was 26, Kevin Spacey, they were on like a play together, like on like on Broadway. What yeah. was his and name, Kevin, Chris? I don't know. It was Anthony I, something. Oh, my God. Anthony Rapp. <laughs> Anthony Rapp or Rad. I don't know what you said. Uh, but they, he like, they both got really drunk at a party. And no. Kevin Spacey. Yeah, and Kevin Spacey took him to his hotel room and, like, fucked him. <laughs> it was a Hollywood party Anthony Rapp was at. It was, like, one of those parties that, like, your agent or manager has you go to. It's just rub shoulders with people. It's at a, It's in a big mansion. It's not Kevin Spacey's oh, okay. house. But well, I a, didn't say his, man, his I, no, house. No, 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 I no, thought no. it was at the party no, for no, no. the play is it's what at they a, said. It's at a party. Okay. It's at a big party, and in one of the room, Anthony Rapp's fourteen, and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't give a fuck about this party. It's just really more his parents are there to meet celebrities, yeah. so that they can make connections. For yeah. Him. So he uh, goes up to one of the rooms to just get away from the party, and fucking Kevin Spacey comes in behind him. And is like, hey, and he like <coughs> picks him up, pins him on the bed, tries to kiss him, and Anthony Rapp like wiggles, wiggles away, and cries and runs away. And you know, it's a whole creepy thing. And Anthony Rapp did this thing on the internet talking about it. And then Kevin Spacey. Uh, came out as gay while apologizing. Like, turn use the thing to try and turn around. Like, actually, I'm bisexual is the thing. And, you know, bisexual people have these urges. And the, and the, oh. and the, yeah, it was fucking weird. It's Kevin fucking Spacey's a weirdo, dude. And yeah. I disagree about that movie. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I, I disagree that it enhances the movie. I, I don't like watching Kevin Spacey well, stuff no more. For me, he like weirds usually, me out. Dude. So here's my thing. He's I real. Can, he's not just seven weird. He's real life ooky, dude. I don't <laughs> like it. Well, my thing is like I can separate an actor from their performance, like in terms of like you know, say someone has political views I don't agree with. I can still enjoy their performances in movies. Like like Big our grandparents. Difference. Well, I know. Hold on. Let me Huge let me difference. finish my point before you fucking attack me like you always do. I try and have conversations with our grandparents because they hate. 
They hate Robert De Niro now because <laughs> of how liberal he Wait, is. Who do, your grandparents? Oh, my grandparents hate, hate Robert, Robert De Niro. They hate Robert because De Niro he's because he's super liberal. <laughs> I hate Hold on, Robert De Niro hold on. Because he's a pedophile. Robert De Niro is? What? Don't say that. Is love, that true? Why would you I say that? Him. Do you think that? I'm tying it in. He was like super really Don't good. Tie it in. He was like super really good friends with Roman Polanski, a eh? like when Roman Polanski got like uh, everybody was ta- knew that what was going on. First person that was all over that shit was Robert De Niro. Like, no, nah, don't talk about my boy that way. And then when he was indicted, Robert De Niro was still like, yo, guys, come on. Like, that's chill, my boy. <laughs> chill. And then another guy, another guy De Niro fucks with got like wrote up on. He's uh, like, maybe I should on, back off. Like, this shit. Fu- <laughs> on like fucking a 13 year old. And Robert De Niro like went to the trial and was just like, yo, this is my guy. That's like, my guy. Listen, I'm, I'm Robert De Niro. He's like, maybe this guy did it. Hey, this hey, time, this know? is my guy. It's my, this is my boy right here. But anyway, yeah, no, fuck, Robert. Robert. You fuck, talk, Robert. <laughs> fuck Robert. You talking to him? <laughs> I just, he associates with too many pedophiles <laughs> for my liking. <laughs> no, that, that, I get that. I don't like that. But he's a great actor. <laughs> and until he is uh, accused of something, <laughs> impr- yeah. a separate specific, so, yeah, I separate the, art, the art from the artist. Is what I'm saying. In seven. It's hard to because Kevin's. It's a lot easier to not agree with someone when they are legitimately a fucking rapist or a pedophile, and uh, in that movie, he's already such an unlikable character that it's like I really hate him now. It's like you could and believe it, that it, that's Ke- Kevin Spacey being himself in this movie. Yeah, exactly. And it's even worse when you go back and watch scary, fucking yeah. House of Cards. It's like that show is just fucking like makes my skin crawl now because I'm like, man, that's probably when just, he kisses. He's that probably guy. just being himself when he kisses that guy. Which one and how many? T- which time? Yeah. <laughs> that happens a couple times. You like those parts? No, I don't like. You're I don't like because you don't like them. I don't like that show anymore. <laughs> I don't I'm like. To pin you I know way. <laughs> that show has the single greatest plot twist moment of any show or movie I've ever seen ever. What is it? I don't want to say. Spoil it. Yeah, you're not gonna watch it. Do you want to know? I'm not gonna watch it. So, in the first season of the show, Kate Mara plays a journalist. That to oh I know what you're talking about yeah Kate Mara play, do you know who Kate Mara is yes no. I do Kate Mara um oh, fuck uh did you, did you see The Martian yes she's the she's Johansson she's the cute little brunette that's, she, the that's one that dating like Sebastian Anna, the one that looks like Anna Kendrick yeah okay yeah, yeah so it's okay. her I actually just watched that movie for the yeah. first time really dude it's so good it's so good it's really good someone's phone right Chris's uh, phone is so playing far away. What you so can inappropriate. Only describe Mark is, what you can only describe is <laughs> gay tunes. Well, uh, you know, the Gay Lizard Association. Anyway. Gay tunes are cool. Hold on. Let me say my thing. <laughs> Stop interrupting to make fun of me. <laughs> I don't do that to you. <laughs> when you're telling stories, I just laugh. <laughs> Let me tell my fucking story. I'll laugh. <laughs> anyway. She plays a journalist. She plays a fucking... She should have won all the awards for this role. She did such a... Was, she's amazing. In the first season, she plays this journalist who is uh, basically sleeping around with Kevin Spacey to get like the inside of what's happening in Congress and all his dealings. Yeah. And he's using her to like get a leg up and like put inform- the information. Media-wise. Yeah, he's trying to put certain information out there against his opponents and blah blah blah. You know, they're both using each other. Yeah. And she kind of falls in love with him, and he kind of puts on the idea that you think he might be falling in love with her. When in reality, the whole time, him and his wife, Robin Wright, uh, Jenny from Forrest Gump, they are both, like, she knows he's doing it. He tells her about all of it. They're in it, in on it together. Like, she, the two of them are, like, political fucking nightmares. Like they're she trying, gets wet by it. Well, I don't know about she that. She thinks it's cool. She, like, well, okay. she likes getting cucked by <laughs> that's, it. That's, that's not true. She has a big problem with it. <laughs> but anyway, she, uh, they keep doing it. <laughs> Uh, and the whole first season is that's like what's going on. That's their relationship. Yeah. And then he kills somebody at the end of this first season. He has a political prospect that he's trying to like groom to help him uh, enhance his uh, image mm-hmm. in politics. And that guy has was a was sober and had a really bad drug problem. And a big part of his campaign was like being able to fight it and come back from it. Yeah. And then he gets really fucked up and goes back down that path uh, it was yellow jacket from the first ant-man that actor he okay he's and he's really good if yeah. yellow jacket is not a good <laughs> example of his fucking acting potential he's unbelievable in house of cards yeah eh. you didn't watch it yes i did oh you did of uh, the first two seasons 
Anyway, in the first episode of season two, everybody's back. Kate Mara's back. She's kind of on to him and thinks that she figured out that he killed him. But she's like wanting to believe he didn't. And she calls him on the phone and tells him as much. And he says, meet me here. Bring your phone. Blah, 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 blah. And they go to a train station. And they have a conversation on the bench where she's kind of like investigating him. And he's like telling him her, like, I can't believe you would even imagine such things. This is ridiculous. Uh, I, I want every trace of our relationship destroyed. I don't want anything to do with you. Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, Francis, I just want to fucking... I want to, like, I believe you didn't do what it. What a whack ass I, I want to, uh, Francis? Yeah. My my grandfather's middle name is Francis. How dare She's you? right. And <laughs> anyway, like, he gets up, like, disgusted and walks away from her, like, around a corner. And she, like, st- runs to follow him. And she's like, Francis. And the camera cuts to her rounding Francis. the corner. He grabs her, turns her, and throws her in the train tracks as a train's coming. Oh, holy shit. And it is fucking, dude, like, I, like, stood up. I was like, no! Like, I fucking... Fr- she was a very good character. Like, she was arguably the main character if he wasn't. Yeah. Like, in the first season, they are definitely, like, no! split between the, the, main, the main character. It's like, see, it's like yeah. main that character A, main character B. She was. <laughs> yes. The, uh, but it was... She was amazing. And, like, for them to do it, it was, like, their most fucking Game of thrones moment. And And to be fair, that show... Like, they do that a few times. Like, they do a really good job of, like, subverting expectations and doing the shit you would never imagine a show would do to characters you would never imagine them doing it to. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Like, they do a really good job with that kind of stuff. And uh, that moment is far and away the most, like, holy shit one. Because you build a ton of time. She's got If it's not him, it's her, the most screen time character by that up, up until that point. Yeah. Way better looking than Kevin today. Way better looking. <laughs> she was she was incredible. Honestly, you should make the show about her. Yeah, I agree. It would have been a better show. <laughs> the Kate Mara Show, <laughs> starring Kevin Spacey. Zoe. Her name was Zoe in the show. I'm just saying. It's like it's how you do it in the 60s. It's like, I love Lucy, starring Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> yes. His thing in the show is that he like talks to the, he breaks the fourth wall. He talks to the audience about what's going on. <laughs> And, like, what kind of person he is. And in that episode, he hasn't yet. He always, like, like the very beginning, the very first scene, he talks to the audience and, like, establishes that that's his thing. And in the first whole first episode of that show, he, like, never talks to the audience until the last scene. He's, like, in the bathroom washing his hands. And it's right after he's effectively admitted to his wife what he did, like, kind of in code. Like, he let her know, like, I, I went through with it. Yeah. And then she walks out of the room, and he's washing his hands, and the camera... The shot is on him in the mirror. Like, you see him, and you see his reflection, and he looks up at his reflection through the mirror into the camera through the reflection, and he's like, you think I forgot you were here? (laughs) And he's like, don't worry about Zoe Barnes. I apologize. Uh, Or no, uh, in in this world, there are kittens, and there are cougars. (laughs) And and something along the line. She was a kitten. She wasn't going anywhere. She wasn't going to survive in this climate. Like, it was cra- like just his fucking thing is crazy. Wow. It's a fucking brutal show to, like, your. Sounds like I'm kind of interested rough. in it now. It's a great. It, for real, it's great until the last season because he it wasn't allowed to be in it because of everything that happened. He's a colorful uh, yeah. It ended. Yeah, he. <laughs> it, it, the show didn't end before all that shit happened to him. It was one season away from being over. Yeah. Look, Dave Chappelle has a really good bit on it. He says, listen, I think cancel culture can be good sometimes. But y'all had to get my boy Kevin Spacey before they, he finished filming <laughs> House of Cards. <laughs> that shit was fucking awesome. <laughs> it was the best show ever made. <laughs> and, and it really, I mean, it's, if the last season had had him in it, I don't condone what Kevin Spacey it, did. Was it a, if he had gone through with the whole show and been done with it before all that shit happened, it yeah. probably could have been the greatest show of all time. Was it, it a Netflix show? Yes, it's Netflix original. It's fucking gnarly. <laughs> it's good. So can we talk about a good show? I know it's like a kid's show. But the Amazing World of Gumball is like uh, so good. That show is so, so great. So watch that. That's a great one. I know Tung Fu. Show me. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> fist comes out yeah, of his like mouth and punches his sister. Started binge watching it. <laughs> it's a great show. It's got it's got incredibly good social commentary. The de- it's got a, a lot of depth to it. For yes, sure. it does. Yeah, it's like both in animation and in <laughs> its mm, thematics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> My favorite part is where. Uh, I forgot his name. The father walks in, 
And he's like, I'm sorry to break it to you. And Darwin goes, oh, you're not my father. <laughs> and then they start going. <laughs> and they just start Yeah, laughing. their little <laughs>, laughs are great. Because <laughs> it's always like they're the audience in those moments. Like they're they're laughing for you <laughs> when you're supposed to. And it helps. It's it's a silly show. We we were spoiled with good cartoons. We had some great shit growing I'm up. Sure we had good shows, I think. Yeah. I'm Much sure better than, than they are today. E- either I'm sure they, they were, were better or today. I just can't relate to them. What? I'm sure there are fine ones today. Fine. Ones. But, man, we had some bangers. No, I'm just I'm Drake just and Josh, saying. iCarly. Uh, iCarly was pretty great. They, see, the Sweet problems with those, though, is that, like, Dan Schneider was making them. And there's Dan a lot Schneider, of really bad yeah. jokes oh, in those. God Let's damn. move past the pedophile <laughs> and praising about. their works. I, yeah, well, I Charlie was praising their works. I forgot about Dan Snyder. See, I was trying sorry. to stick this to cartoons <laughs> well, Danny where Phantom, adults are the children. <laughs> like Danny Phantom, Jimmy Neutron. And, yes. Uh, yeah. I could, yeah. Fairly Odd Parents was great. Danny Phantom was fucking awesome. Jimmy Neutron Sponge changed Bob the way like is undeniable. Like, changed like the um what's it called? The metric that like Nickelodeon worked on for a long time. Yes. Teen Titans. Oh dude. Teen Titans is one of the great like keep, I can't believe it ended. How shows. they keep teasing that last season. Like of it's what? About, like it's gonna come. Yeah, dude, they keep saying like we're gonna do it. Wait, you know, what? Teen Titans ended on a cliffhanger episode in the middle of a season and never came back. They really? Just, yeah, it, it's the episode when Beast Boy s- sees Tara and she doesn't remember him. And meanwhile, the the gang is fighting like an elemental, chameleon. yeah, chameleon, like a- elemental bad guy that like if it touches no, cement, it turns into na- cement. No, no, no. His name is Chameleon. Okay, but I'm ex- explaining yeah, what he does. He can like go invisible. I got you. Yeah, he can do crazy shit. Anyway, they're trying to fight him, and it's like it's basically the B story, and they, you never really actually find out its motives or why it's doing what it's doing. The whole episode's really about Beast Boy trying to get Tara and explain to her who he is, and she can't yeah. remember. And it's after the She's events. She's pretending to not remember. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the idea behind what's going on. But then it just ends. The show ends, and it I never came back. There's never another episode. But it ended that way. Yeah. Well, like right before That's that, the the right before that big plot point that had happened was the teen, t- all the different Teen Titans that like had their Avengers Endgame moment against the. Uh, no, Avengers Endgame had a Teen Titans moment. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. But what? What? what is it the Brotherhood of Evil? Awesome. Yes. Yeah. They fight the Brotherhood of Evil. It's like fucking thirty of the biggest bads in Teen Titans against all the fucking t- thirty Teen Titans, yeah. and they all fuck them up and freeze them all and put them on a shelf like trophies. And it's who demented. Leads, <laughs> who leads the fucking? Charge when everybody else is down. Beast Boy. My boy. Beast Boy. <laughs> Michael was Beast Boy as a kid. <laughs> Michael was, he loved Beast Boy. We all did, but Beast Boy was. <laughs> My boy. Michael was Beast Boy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he. Father, uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's, that, that shit was gangster. And, uh, and, uh, and then it, like, literally, I think it's literally the next episode is that episode, right? Fairly certain. Yeah, it's like that episode happens. It's like this big holy shit moment, and then they make the next episode with Tara, release it, and fucking leave us in the dark. It's been like 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like 15 years for no shit, though. And like, they keep teasing that they're going to bring yeah. it back. Yeah. 17 years. Yeah, they've been te- ever since Teen Titans Go the movie. The end credits is like the animation for the show. Back. Oh, Literally. I remember that. We're now. coming back. I didn't watch that movie, but I saw I that saw scene. I saw that, yeah. And then I they've had a few moments like that. They had a moment where recently where Robin. And his full animation comes and talks to the Robin from the Teen Titans Go and says, yeah. you know, I always thought you were really annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I actually, I watched And he's it. like, and? He's like, mm-hmm. And he walks away. He's like, shit. <laughs> it's really funny. I watched, I did actually he watch that whole movie. Shit. He doesn't say shit. There's a, they, they're all in it together, each version from each universe. Yeah, there's it's two, like a crossover or something. There's two, uh, yeah, um. What's his name? Jargon. The, Who? The big red guy, Raven's father. Oh, um, Trigon. Trigon. Is that true? That doesn't sound something, right. It's something like that. Okay. Something. It is. Factory. Trigon. Well, there's two Trigons in the movie too. Uh, it's really cool. Can we talk about all the crossovers that happened when we were kids? You're right. I was just. Like I was uh, fact checking it. What was one of them? I remember Kids Next Door doing. Oh, like uh, Kids Next Door was so good. They did like good. a crossover. About, yeah. Yeah. Code name Kids Next Door is fucking incredible. One of my favorites, actually. It could have been Billy and Mandy. They did a crossover one time. Kids Next Door. Yeah. Yeah, they did. There was a crossover. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. was a crossover period. Like they a did big crossover. Thing. Jimmy Neutron and uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, they right? did a crossover. It was pretty funny. They did a couple crossovers. They were both good. 
God damn it, two percent. Let me see your goddamn cowboy hat. <laughs> he said yeah. that like a million years ago. He Chad has not, hasn't said anything. He has not said anything back. Well, it's the time of day. The time of day is usually this is a slow time. Oh yeah. If we started doing it super like relatively often on these days and this t- hour, it would it would pick up. Yeah. Because consistency. The best hours are always between like eight and eleven to start, and then pretty much just go through. People are gonna stay up and watch because it's late and they don't care and they don't want to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> but, fuck. I they're right. Faith's right. They did a crossover, and I can't figure out what it was. Just look it up. That's a good point. That's a good point. It's good. We have the technology. Codename Ed and Eddie. Do, do Cartoon Network crossovers. <laughs> Codename Ed and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon. Wait, did Ed, Ed and Eddie do a crossover? Yeah, yeah for sure. That was a good show, too. It was. Do you know what <coughs> was uh, special about Ed and Eddie? What? Anybody? Any guesses? Yeah, all the uh, <laughs> all the all three characters are uh, written as they're all parts of their writer's personality. They're all versions of himself. That's super interesting. I didn't know that at all. <coughs> Wait, what? All three Ed, Ed, and Eddie, <coughs> yeah, are all parts of the ori- the writer. He's it's himself as a kid. Oh, really? They're all three. That's his, funny. The like three biggest parts of his personality. That's funny. I didn't know that. That's it. That makes a lot of sense because that is kind of the like the three kinds of kids. Yeah. Anybody it else got any fun facts before I, unver- I lay it out? <laughs> What's your super fun fact I, I before I read ex- the list of I crossovers? Ex- I wasn't expecting Charlie to <laughs> have kill one. us with a good one. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> it's uh, it's it was the it last. It was Charlie who killed us. It was the last animated television show to use traditional animation techniques, meaning like cells, like animation. Attack cells. on Titan. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> what was? Ed and Eddie. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's cool. That is cool. Mine was cooler. But Yours was a little cooler. Anyway, so Dexter's Laboratory did a crossover with Dino Mutt Dog Wonder. Fuck you, Chris. Johnny Bravo did one with Scooby Doo. Where are you? I forgot. They did do that. That was yeah. pretty good. Um, <laughs> Velma. Powerpuff Girls in Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, Batman was in Scooby Doo also. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy did one with the Powerpuff Girls, the Flintstones, and Evil Can Evil Can Evil Con Carn. I don't even really did, come on, man. Know about read. That one. read. I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. Codename Kids Next Door did one with Grim Adventures of Billy and... The Grim Adventures of the K&D. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I told you. Yeah, you were right. I didn't say you were wrong. (laughs) I said I didn't remember it. I agree with you. Adventures... Adventure Time did one with... Oh, that's not the same. Um, Ben 10 and Generator Rex. Ben 10 and the Secret Saturdays. Steven Universe and Uncle Grandpa. (coughs) Teen Titans Go and Holy Shit. Teen Titans Go did it with like fucking 15 shows. Young Justice, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Powerpuff Girls, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, Thundercats, Roar, Beetlejuice, Freakazoid, DC Superhero Girls, <laughs> Holy shit. and Space House. <laughs> they did like fucking nine. <laughs> wow. Let's be, okay, the rest of these are catching up to like nowadays. It I don't must be interdimensional. Know right? It's got to be. Which is lame. Not really. I'm sure a lot of it's great. The Gay Losers Association Episode 3, Getting Glizzy With It. Thank you, 2%, for renaming the episode. (laughs) I forgot. I only read the first half. (coughs) But uh, that's that's the title. That's the title. It says it on my end on the the creator dashboard here. Chris gets a special computer. Oh, cool. Uh, This is what I see. This is the notifications we get. Like when people, this is from last night's stream when someone subscribed. The little hearts are follows. The little stars are resubscriptions. Hey, that's me. That's, yeah, your look. Char- look you're no, right. no, 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 wait, no. You're the right subscribe or the follow. Oh, wait, you're Creighton. I forgot. I need to no, change that. In the follower list, that's that's my username. Oh, which one? Charlie Woo 69 Oh, okay. Charlie Woo. Charlie Woo. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. You're welcome. Thank you for following. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see your cowboy hat. He's not here. He's not. He's gone. <laughs> he, he's probably not watching. Or if he is, it's just like he's he's lurking, not listening, <laughs> here, watching here, something here, else. Here, here it is. Oh, we've lost all our viewers. <laughs> My campaign truly has come to a standstill. <coughs> Crooked Hillary. <laughs> I, I blame. She's responsible. I blame her. These coffees are great, aren't they? The fucking black yeah. rifle ones. You want a coffee, Michael? It's all of your fault. <laughs> it's mocha. I am not to blame. I cannot carry the. You world have five seconds to decide. No, I don't. Want okay. Just answer. <laughs> no. 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 Remember when C- Sweet Life? Remember the sweet? 
Sweet Life on Deck. No, no. Uh, that's so sweet. Oh, life Hannah Montana. That's Montana. so sweet. Life of Hannah Montana. Han- yeah, <laughs> it's that's a Raven. Sweet that's Life of Zach yeah. Cody and Hannah Montana all in one episode, and it was good. That was a banger. I watched. You remember when their mom had a birthday episode? I I can't remember what that episode looked like because I watched it while playing the level of Halo Two where you play as the Arbiter on the on the uh, the Forerunner ship going and fighting the flood. So in my head, I'm like going through the catacombs of their old library, killing the flood with lasers. But I hear. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That's how my memories worked of like playing video games and watching TV. Because <laughs> me and Michael had our Xbox, like our TV for that, right next to our normal TV. So like yeah. he would sit there and we would both play Halo and watch th- the episode. And like he would watch that while I play Halo. And like we would sit there and just do both. And I would like, I see video games with the memory of the audio of the shows in my head because i didn't care about the fucking that's story his 2008 of, of fucking stories you can have <laughs> isn't it <Yeah. laughs> did wizard of waverly place i can't say it right <laughs> yeah you, you said it right that's right wizard of waverly place I know. wizards I kinda, of like waverly place <laughs> but did they what they did they ever cross over yeah, i think they, they did they did they probably did no, they, they, i'm pretty sure they did it with uh hannah montana as well I, if i'm not mistaken has any and if I interesting sure. combo happened? Uh, you missed all of the best we've ever done. At one time, I think Charlie took his shirt off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we all took our shirts off finally. You weren't oh, here. Oh, see for us it. your ha- show us your hat. Yeah, where Please the fuck's your cowboy, your cowboy hat? We've been waiting to. See. Michael has been asking about it every two and a half minutes since you said it. The only reason I'm <laughs> still here is for that cowboy hat. We have to go. Cock teased me with it. My dog died an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wish gonna miss. Was Hannah Montana, Corey in the house, and Sweet Life is Zach and Cody. Corey in the house. Dude, isn't he in jail? He is. is really? He what did he do? He killed a guy. He did he actually? Broke and entered into a house. What? Killed a guy. Yeah, Corey was in the house. And uh, <laughs> he got arrested. <laughs> did he actually kill a guy or are you just fucking with it? Man, Florida. Okay. So that's the Sweet Life of Hannah Montana. We already said on Wizards on Deck with Hannah Montana. So it's Wizards of... It's... God damn. <laughs> they, replaced, they replaced Raven in that one. <laughs> and it's the same. Posted and shirts off. Okay. Inspect the hat. Hat. That's a cool cowboy hat. Chris. I'm, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Impatience. Hell yeah. I do like that cowboy. That is a nice hat. I like all the stuff around it, Who's too. He fella? made it He made it colorful. That this is Jason Aldean. There you go. Yeah, 2% is a fan. Cool. And 2% is black. Hell I just want to go ahead yeah, and paint that man. picture for everybody. I got lean So they don't misthink like I did for a year. <laughs> I didn't know 2% was from a good old man. I, who, 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 from what? where? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> no, I mean, what, what did you say, Michael, <laughs> about... <laughs> What is you? What? What? What, what is two percent? I didn't know two percent. What? I don't think he wants to say it again. <laughs> What'd you say, Michael? What are you talking about? What are you even talking about right now? <laughs> Chris, nice, you're gonna nice get hat, everyone bro. banned with your hate. Girl speech. meets world. Girl meets world on terror two. On terror two. You're what? Pat, Chris, you've passed our. You've passed all of our. Generation. Good luck, Charlie and Duncan Dreamhouse. Good luck, Charlie. Good luck, Justin New York. Miss our window. Charlie was really good. I don't know if you watched it, but it was really, really good. I watched good. the first episode or two and was like, this is lame. What? I think it was Why? because I went by Charlie and everybody kept attacking me with yep. it and I didn't yep. like it. Every day of my fucking life. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we, got fucking, we got fucking pelted with good luck Charlies in high oh, school. Dude, no, this Charlie the destroyed. Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Sorry, Charlie, Charlie the Unicorn. Sorry, I don't want to hear it. Charlie the Unicorn. I don't want to hear it. Sorry, Charlie. I don't want to hear Charlie it. Charlie bit me. I don't want to hear it. What? Charlie bit my finger. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. That's not. What that's day not is it, Mike? That's like the one. I don't round. even know what that is. Day. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. That's one Mike. thing. That's one we thing. had Mike, nine Mike, Mike, things. Mike, Mike, nine Mike, things. Mike, Mike, people Mike. could just no, fucking. No, no, no. I understand that clip. you have more things, but understand that my one thing is Mike, 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 when people can just Charlie bit you, yeah. or when they can just Charlie the unicorn you, they, th- there's too many Charlie things. How was the factory today, Charlie? Yeah, you know. like fucking. We just got. Are ob- they knocked something over? Sorry, Charlie. We Have we you we seen don't. Austin and Ellie? 
We don't get to win. We never got to win arguments in high school. We just had to fucking... That's why we're so fucking... I have to make up a dumb response every time someone makes one of these comments. We so. have to just... We just have to be tame and be like, you got us. <laughs> <laughs> With dead Daniel. eyes. <laughs> we can't win. Wait, I've never heard that before in my life. Yeah. You. Oh, fuck. You got us. At least Way it's not go. Daniel. Which one is Daniel? Damn, Damn Daniel. Daniel. Oh, that's, that's one thing. That's bad. That's one thing. You guys, I, look. That guy gets to come up with a response... And be like, oh, damn, Daniel, fucking blah, 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 po- post your your script you've dis- <laughs> you discovered because there's only one thing to fuck with you. Adam. We, for us, it's like, Charlie bit me. And then we're like, Ouch, fuck, Charlie. Oh, you, oh we, we, can't, we can try and come up with one thing, but then they're going to be like, good luck, Charlie. And then we're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, it's uh, Charlie. And it's like, God damn it. Just, they, they, just, they have nine preloaded Charlie attack Candy Mountain, phrases. Charlie. Yeah, they have all these phrases Candy and we can't Mountain. keep coming back with them. All we can say is real original. <laughs> Charlie. Way to go. Yeah, way to go, you guys. Charlie. Exa- see? See? It's stupid. It's good. We have to we have to be the humble, <laughs> humble like guy who's okay with getting attacked. It's not even your name, you fucking dummy. Yeah, but I go by that. That's what I go by. That's my name to people. Charlie, what's your name? If people <laughs> if people know you as but still, yeah. it's regardless. It's that's what people call you. Yeah. My name's he Charles. It. He technically. It, <laughs> what? You're like choosing to be a black guy in the 60s. <laughs> it's not just like, it's just that, like, don't, atta- don't compare and contrast those. It's just like, why make that choice? <laughs> I don't understand the relation. You, I don't understand the relation you either. Have, you have a choice to make here. Explain explain how they connect. <laughs> you have a choice to make. I can go by Chris and nobody's yeah, going to fuck with yeah, me. Yeah, so compare that or I to go choosing by ch- to yeah. be a black guy or in I the 60s. Was Charlie. that a choice? <laughs> I could get to it if you could let me finish speaking. Okay, okay. No, I'm done now. No. All right. All right, now let's talk. Now you guys microphone off. Let's have a good podcast. <laughs> no, say your thing. I'm not going to interrupt. Say it. Explain it. I, w- I, I It's pretty self-explanatory, I thought, but... <laughs> None of us understand it. Well, yeah. I don't know what we're talking about. Why? Right uh, <laughs> why? Why do you think me choosing to go by my middle name, part of my real name... Why? Why is that comparable? <laughs> You're sitting to here talking about the plight of having a Charlie, uh, having the name Charlie. Everybody's like, "Oh, I can't win an argument." T- go. My name's Chris. That's my. That's not my. My name's Chris. I didn't like going. You're by going. By Charlie. You're I going. go by Charlie. I like Charlie. Yes, but then you ca- you can't say I go by Charlie and oh shit, everybody calls me Charlie. <laughs> I'm not saying oh shit. I'm saying it sucks that we don't get to come back with a thing. I'm you simply do. I'm you simply do. relating with my Charlie friends. Charlie doesn't. <laughs> you do. Yes, I do. That's what I'm trying to say. No, no, I'm no. glad at least I have someone to go through it with me. You know, because he's we're the only Charlie's. Other Charlie we're Charlie's. Planet. We're Charlie's in crime. <laughs> we we have relatability to each other. What Indeed. crimes? Shut up. The crime of being too handsome. Yeah, we're both really handsome. Being named Charlie and being yeah. That's both of them. Child pornography. <laughs> no, don't. That's not what we're known for. <laughs> Only one of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Which don't one don't is point it? at me. Is that one? They d- they I can't tell it. who you're pointing at. <laughs> the one with the hat. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Everyone's wearing a hat. <laughs> this really. The one with the chimney cleaner hat. God damn it. Yeah. That might be me. The one with the <laughs> the one with the golf bitch hat. <laughs> How dare you. I'm That's a taxi a driver. Cat. Yeah, I'm a taxi driver. <laughs> dummy. You silly dummy. dummy. You silly dummies. <laughs> wait, wait a second, wait a second. I'm gonna save this. You dumb dummy. Wait a second, I'm gonna save this and y'all are gonna be dummies. What do you tee off with? What is the name of that club? Golf club. Ch- driver. He got us. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. You're so good. Now now you have a pre now you have a pre line before all the dumb Charlie lines you could use against <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one applauds. You're real him. proud of you. Are, you're real proud of yourself. There's people out there applauding. They 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 feel They're it. That was good. He got us. That was a good one. He, the golf hat, like turning that into a driver hat, was phenomenal. <laughs> and staying on topic, like that was. Uh, you killed that. Hey guys, there's levels to it. <laughs> and Ted Lasso. And Ted Lasso when he's when he's doing the dance, teaching the guys the dance. Uh, fr- uh the. Fuck the uh. 
bye, 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 bye. That when he's doing that song, mm-hmm. he's like, guys, you have to sing it like you're a marionette. That's why this album is called No Strings Attached. <laughs> and he's like this, and they're like, oh, fuck shit, that makes it. <laughs> it was like a moment where you're like, holy shit, is Ted Lasso right? <laughs> is that why this is a thing? <laughs> I just started watching Ted Lasso. It's a great show. It's so good, dude. Oh, great wait show. till you get, uh, wait, oh, wait. How far are you? First season. Okay. Well, how, is it just two out right now? It's two seasons, yeah. The third season has, doesn't have a trailer yet, so you're probably you'll catch up before season. Has three. Coach died yeah. yet? <laughs> coach who? <laughs> it's like fucking nine coaches in coach. this. <laughs> it's a co- it's a show about coaches. <laughs> it really is. It's honestly less about the sport and the more about the, the character. Heard, I've heard it's Coach. Shut up. <laughs> the name. Uh, your your joke is not landing. <laughs> no, he's a manager. It's not the name. What? He's a manager. You don't yeah. remember? He's a football the na- manager. It's not. A joke. I'm being serious. I w- it was never a joke, guys. The, the, the fact that Coach dies it was a joke, yes. But the, the, that his name was Coach was not. Who are you talking about? In this television show, Ted Lasso. Oh. I'm talking I, about Beard. I knew you Be- were joking. Coach Beard. His name is Beard. Coach. No, he goes Everybody by Coach Beard. Coach. Some of them just call him Beard. Most of a lot of them call him Coach. A lot call him. Yeah, a lot of people call their coach Coach. That doesn't. It's not his name. <laughs> they call Ted Ted. His this name is, is not Coach Beard. This is semantics. Yes, it's true. This right, is a silly, enough. silly anyway, argument. You, do you think you like the show? I do like the <laughs> show. Yeah, I heard that it was loo- uh, loosely based on Ryan Reynolds purchasing. Uh, the that happened club. after the show. It's based on the SNL bit of the same name. He Ted, Jason you? Sudeikis oh. did a Ted Lasso bit like ten years ago. Oh, and I didn't did know a that. few of them, and they're really funny. And okay. the someone the, told me that, and I didn't know better. In the first episode, when he goes through the door. Uh, and she's like, oh, well, the press conference is right now. The bit is him doing press conferences as Ted Lasso, the football coach from America, doing soccer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. like that's the that's yeah. the bit that SNL did a few times, like eight or nine years ago. And then they wrote it into a show cool. <laughs> in the last yeah. few years. And it's, it's a good show. It's a great show. Did it's you know that good. the 40 year old virgin started as a second city bit? Yes. I did not, but it makes a lot of Written sense. Written by Steve Carell. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <coughs> the scene where they're in the in the uh, in the bar, they're all sitting at the table, and they're talking about sex, <laughs> and he's like, the, the, "The whole movie just came from that scene." Yeah, they uh, would, the, like, that's what they wanted to make. Yeah, what would it like? What the bit would be? Could this be a movie? Just him trying to make up things that just sound like he's had sex before. So yeah, that's wet. so funny. <laughs> so ah, yeah, so wet. Like a big dude. bag of sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I boinked her. I boinked the heck out of her. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Also it's in that movie, show. the the hair waxing scene is real. Completely real. And the, all of their reactions are real. Yes. And it, they actually Whatever did happened that to him. Romney Malco? Who? The black guy. Is that his name? Romney Malco? I don't know, but I liked him. I like him a lot in that movie. That's a good question. You know the guy uh, who played Marvin in Pulp Fiction? Yes. Out. Phil, Phil, shot, Phil shot Lamar. Ma- yeah, Phil Lamar. Okay, you know that. <laughs> That's Phil Lamar? That's Phil Lamar. <laughs> That's Wilt, Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah. So many characters that we all uh, know. It's fucking crazy. I think uh, Mojo Jojo. Her- Hermes from Hermes, Futurama. Yeah, yeah he is Hermes. A lot of things in Futurama. A lot of, uh, yeah. Hermes. <laughs> That's <was> good. <laughs> My man, witch. <laughs> Do a few. I love Wilt. I like Wilt I is like a great doing, character. I like doing fries. Wilt from it. Imaginary Friends. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, he's great. Uh, that good was a Will good show hunting. Too. Forgot, uh, forgot about that show. Foster's, Home, good. Foster's Home is a great show. It's hot in Topeka. I'm a hot Topeka. I'm a hot Topeka. My toe is hot. Pick it. Chris? Mm. My toe is hot. Pick it. <laughs> Ho- hold on. Pick it. What? Oh, my. Mike just sent me like two paragraphs to tell me he finally did it. I did it. Finally, he did it. And, like he wouldn't say what it was, and then finally said, "I achieved grandmaster status in Risk." <laughs> nice. Which is way to go, Mike. Hard, <laughs> dude. Is it? If, dude, you think there are chess grandmasters? <laughs> These motherfuckers play Risk all day, every day. <laughs> it's all they do. Is that what Mike does? It's right. all he does. Like if Mike isn't working or building cabinets. <laughs> what, what what is West Risk? Risk is it's the game. B- board game. It's a board game. He plays it online, but it's a board game where you, like, it's the map of the world. Usually, there's a lot of different maps you can play, but it's a map of the world, and you have to roll dice and do certain things to take over certain 
areas and like basically you're trying to take over the world. Yeah, you conquer the world basically. Yeah, uh-huh. it's cool. There's I all kinds of versions like Game, Game of Thrones. Of Thrones. Oh. I used to, I used yeah. to play. Well, well, I have that's I have Game of Thrones Risk <laughs> I have, somewhere in here. We had the uh, the Lord of the Rings version. And oh I, my! We, we played God. I mean, like conquer every, every weekend. Yeah, yeah, every weekend we would play. I've yeah. never played. I need to play. But it's, he, it's fun. But he, it, he plays the shit out of it, and he's been like. He's been like 2,000 points away, which is a close margin, many, many, many times. But he's never achieved Grandmaster, and he he's so excited. That's cool. <laughs> I like I feel so happy for him. I'm like I'm like for real. Like I feel like my team just won the Super Bowl. Like I'm so excited. Like I, I it yeah. might not be showing, but I'm like I'm hyped for him. <laughs> I can't wait excited. to go up there and like fucking double high five, do our ha- secret handshake like crazy shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> Create a secret handshake. We don't have a secret handshake. <laughs> Make one. Also, he needs your help. My help? Yeah, before you leave. He needs your risk help. Not one risk. risk. No, well, not I'm, pr- risk. I'm a grand champion. All right. <laughs> Are you? I'm a blue belt. <laughs> You're a blue belt in risk? Yeah. Shit, that's that's pretty good. Chris, I'm a master of champions, Chris. <laughs> If you are a master of anything, it's either the, the, the two games you're best at are Minecraft and uh, the fucking Overwatch clone. Selling ribs. Paladins. Paladins. It's not a clone. It's a clone. It's a clone. <laughs> it's not a clone. Which one came out first? They came out within three months of each other. Which one came out first? I don't remember. That's like Paul Blart in uh, Observe and Report. Yeah. You no, guys? Yeah. My biggest theory is that they were both all both devs, both teams of devs were making Overwatch. And then there was like creative differences, and they split off and made Paladins and the rest of the time. Overwatch came out two years before Paladins. Not two years. It, according to this, it did release date. I'm kidding. You were right. They came out very s- in the same year, very yeah, close. Within together. a couple months of each other. Yeah. But my point is, it's not a clone. They're just very similar games. Probably made by the same people. <laughs> that's that, that's my theory. I've never <laughs> yeah. read that anywhere. My theory is that it was all one dev team. And there were creative differences, and the team of them split off. And was like, we're going to make this we're way gonna better. Ma- we're going to make what we... W- I think it's arguably <laughs> better. Overwatch 2 is very fun. I yeah. found one character in Overwatch 2 that, like, every other character is still, like, playing with my left hand. One of the characters, Orisa, uh, that, that, one, like it. that one makes sense. You fuck me. with Overwatch yeah, 2? Yeah, I, that character I, I fuck with. I liked Overwatch 1 when I had it on PlayStation 4, but I just... <laughs> I don't know. Th- that Those games are... I don't have the same squad of people I can play with every night like I used to. And games like that, you really got to like... You guys got to s- play the same thing over and over again to really, truly be good. Like, I, I miss those days where it was the same squad of people. Like, th- it, there's a blessing and a curse to knowing fucking 300 people on the internet. <laughs> the blessing is you have a lot of friends and they're cool and you love talking to them and you love when you go to the events getting to meet ones you haven't met yet and hang out with everybody and blah, 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 blah. But like my OG little squad, like you know, we've we've grown up a little. Some of us have jobs that we can't play every night like we used to, and blah blah blah. And it it sucks because when we do all get together and play games, the the uh, that feel that like you know we were all so good as a team clicks right back into motion. Like we all, whatever we play, if we play it together, any combination of the five of us, we sl- like we are amazing. Like, if we all hop on and decide to play Call of Duty, even if we just decide to play fucking Fall Guys, <laughs> like, we'll win <laughs> on Fall Guys, like, five out of ten games, which is a lot in Fall Guys. Uh, 50%? Yeah, it's 50%. And, like, you know. At least. At least 50%. And we, fi- you know, that's it's fun because, like, we never get to play games. But we have to get on and play, and that's the hard part for us is actually getting on. We Now we just get on and watch stuff together. We all we all watched Avatar <laughs> the other night. We sit down and watch. Right now they're watching Sons of Anarchy, but I didn't want to, so I'm kind of in Fuck the San- I'm kind of in the dark right now on the TV show watching thing that they're I doing. Watched it. We have in our main Discord, we have a uh, we have like separate movie and TV lists where we One's called the compiler, where we watch movies, and whether we watch them as a group or as one person, we put in there the movie and our rating in like a summary. It's become a little nerdy ass movie watch club, <laughs> where we all like talk about movies. I would I'm be going too the deep on it. Best at that. You'd be pretty good. You. I would, would be the best. At <laughs> you'd that. be pretty good. I'm at talking it. about. I would. I would take it fucking to the next level. Dude. Yeah, I'm sure you would. You'd do a good job. When did you find out? Just now. <laughs> okay. It's been minutes. There's more <laughs> all over the place. Yes. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. <laughs> Michael sucks at Discord. Yeah, oh, I, I can don't. imagine. 
Yeah, you do. Why do I? You suck at it. Oh, you never get on. You never look at messages. You never message me. You never, you never How in the you Discord. Know? You never get on. I do get on. No, you don't. Stop it, Faith. When I tried to play games with Michael, and I played a few of them, like I would message him oh, on there, and he, it would take he forever. Tried to play with me. I tried to play with him a million. He would more text times. me when I'm at work all the time. No, when he knows no, I'm at work. No, I tried him a million more times than he ever tried me, Charlie. <laughs> don't let him fucking harp this bullshit. You bullshit artist. I have a rule. Okay. My rule is, if I'm busy, I'm not looking at my messages. Mm-hmm. When I'm sitting at my computer, if you message me and want to play games and I'm not playing anything, I'll probably hop on and play with you. Michael's thing is that <coughs> him and my friend Bumper, both of them, I've had to explain this many times, they feel bad if they message and I don't respond and they think I'm ignoring them. I'm not ignoring them. <laughs> I look, and if I'm busy, I'm just not going to respond. And I've told them as much. Just yeah. keep spam me. I don't care if you spam me. Like, just don't do it all in one moment. Do it like, yeah. if I haven't responded in this hour, do it an hour later. See, like, if you're still playing and want to play, I'll I'll try and play whatever I can with you. I'm just, you know, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. What yeah. I really want to do, because I know Michael will love it and will definitely get to play a lot, is get him Minecraft on a computer. Because I have I own a big server uh, with a bunch of mods on it, and it's, it's it's there's like 20 of us in there. Like, it's fun. And uh, he would he would really, he loves Minecraft. He's really good at Minecraft. Yeah. I like Minecraft. Yeah, well, I, mean, you're, I think you're good at it. I mean, you're like good as good as you can be, <laughs> like before it gets to like competitive like PvP Minecraft. But I, that's yeah. not what we do. We nah. we have a big fun server where everybody goes and hangs out and just talks shit and does fun things. And you could meet a bunch of my friends on there. That'd be fun. Yeah, you'd like it. You'd enjoy I need, it. I need a laptop. A laptop would work. A decent laptop, like a decent gaming laptop, and then you could just go have it on the go. I don't. I don't. It's not for Minecraft. Why I want a computer? Oh, <laughs> uh, why do you want a computer? To edit videos. You'd still want a gaming laptop. It's going to be better at all that stuff than a normal laptop. Editing on a bad laptop is worse than gaming on a bad laptop because okay. your files won't load. Your renderings will not render for age. Like if you could render like a three or four minute video on the wrong laptop and it take an hour to render. Okay. And that's stupid because you have to render all the t- every every edit you do. Like you need to s- certain edits you do. You have to render in between editing. Okay. So like you'd have to like do a transition and for you to see that transition properly to see if it even works you have to render it and so you'd have to render that transition and that could take forever and it's it's lame <laughs> what's so funny she put <laughs> crosses on her titties <laughs> <laughs> pasties yeah she got pasties excuse me well we'll uh Tapes after after tax time talk to me we'll find you a gaming laptop that for not too crazy money if you want to try and look for one we might we might i could i could help you out on that be cool. Maybe buy you some Minecraft or something. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Bumper, uh, I'll get him to mes- message me his because he has a really nice one that he he plays every. I mean, he plays Valorant, CS:GO, Minecraft. Like he plays all the stuff on it, and it's it's a laptop. Okay. And uh, it's like Alienware. Yeah. Your so your thing would be I'd have to find a free. I'd have to find like a free version of a of an editing software for you because I just don't use it. I use Adobe. Um. So I'd have to like relearn another editing thing, but it would not be hard, especially on YouTube. The best thing to do is just go to YouTube. All those guys know where everything's at. Just look up what is a good free editing software on YouTube for videos, and they'll you know they'll I'll show all the you. good shit. I'll kill you. She keeps taping me, dude. I hate you. I keep getting taped. <laughs> Accept it, man. Just be taped. I don't want to be taped. Just get taped, dude. I don't want to get taped. Are you are you using tape off the roll? No. Okay, it's all the tape that fell. <laughs> Falling tape. Okay, yeah, I I need to I need to get hooks because that tape does not hold all those wires up properly. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a monster. I'm not just gonna <laughs> take it off the roll. But you should have been in here before I fixed it all. Like the wires, literally, it was like a fucking jungle gym of wires, all just right here, hanging. <laughs> uh, this is much better. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. This is much much, and it's still kind of shitty because like that wire should not be right there. That wire should not be right there. They've both fallen in the last like four days. That that wire was on that pillar going down that pillar. Charlie. No one on the podcast what listening, you, if they ever do listen, will see what Charlie, I'm saying. But. What's your favorite mythological beast? The Minotaur. The Griffin. The Minotaur. I the like Griffin. the Griffin a lot. Or Bigfoot. Bigfoot's pretty cool. Phoenix? That's one of us. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenixes works. are cool. I like Phoenix, honestly. Cool answer. Minotaur, cool answer. Cin- centaurs Griffin. are dope. Centaur. Really what about cool, you? Really cool P- say yours that you've been waiting to say. Hmm? What's Sphinx. yours? Sphinx? Yeah. Sphinxes are dope. I don't like the person face, though. They make you answer riddles and shit. Yeah. The well, one in Harry Potter was pretty cool. Yeah. 
That yeah, one was, was scary. <laughs> they have, like, fucking all-encompassing power. I want a Sphinx. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the Give movie, is garbage. No, it's not. I hate that movie. It's not a bad movie. It's not good at all. Yeah, it's one of the better Harry Potter movies. The Goblet of Fire? I, I'm not a fan of the movies in general. Really? You're yeah. not a Harry Potter fan? I love he the, loves Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. But he loves the books. Oh, I got you. I love the books, and I love, like, I half love, of the movies. I yeah. love... I won't say love. I really like Goblet of Fire. The movie. Really? I it's really like the worst it. one compared to the books to me. I totally disagree. It's the most, n- like, go- strays Order away from what Phoenix happens. Phoenix is the worst movie to book compared to me. Like, when you ask me. Man. You need to read read them, man. My, My favorite is. Uh, I've read it is like Phoenix. frame Chris, for Chris, frame. Look at me. I've read Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, and Half-Blood Prince, each, each of those books. At least nine times. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm not exaggerating. Every I, I read I just finished reading all I'm of them. I'm low ball conservative. Okay. Okay. Nine okay. Times. What I'm saying is I just read all of them, and every time I finished the book version of whichever one, I watched the movie right after. Yeah. So I could and I mean it would take me less than a, like a week to read each one, and so like I was reading them, and then watching the movie right after. To me, Goblet of Fire is far and away the most. It, maybe Half Half Blood Prince. Goblet of Fire and Half Blood Prince are very different from their books. Half Blood Prince, the movie, is still pretty good. Goblet of Fire is just so different and so not as good as the book. It's not no, even close. And Order of the Phoenix is none of them are even so close similar. Book. Not one movie is nearly as close to as good as the worst book. Well, the two, the finale does a pretty good job of doing exactly what the book is because they broke it up into two parts. Like everything that happens in the I finale book is fully disagree. Okay, I mean, I just, I mean, I read them. Like, I, I, I read them too. I watched them right after. Like, they don't forget anything that happened in the book in the finale. Like, the, the part two, part one and two, like it's almost like frame for frame, page to page, what happens. The thing that they most Tonks derive from. Tonks' character is completely. Un- I was gonna underrated. say Tonks. Tonks is very much not in the books. They make, not in the movies. They make like Voldemort. She is in the books. They make Voldemort die like a demon instead of a person, which is the. Fucking point. See, you said that a long time ago, and I I was reading the whole thing, and like they never mention it in the words that you said it like that to me. Like they never what? said like he died like a man. Like they no, didn't no 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 no. They don't. It's I it, get the idea no, behind no, 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 it. No no no. He does. They don't say it. They say it, the what they say are he does the spell, and there he goes. Tom Riddle falls dead on the ground. Yeah. It's just a dead body hitting the ground. It's not. No, they don't say it. It's the implication. It's the sim. It's the symbolism. Of he's a man dying. It's not is this demon. It's not a devil. It's not a monster. And in the movies, he kills him. And what happens? He turns into shards of fire, like and like hisses like a snake, like a monster, and like a demon, and just disappears in a wisp of fucking smoke, completely unwriting. What like look. I've kind of back- he also dies in a big group. I've, like the the imagery of the of scene is way cooler. I've kind of backpedaled from like how much I like suck J.K. Rowling's dick <laughs> and how like amazing her writing is. Yeah, she's not the most amazing writer ever. She w- but there's g- good writing and there's yeah. like solid storytelling in those books, and it completely undercuts the storytelling of Tom Riddle as a character <laughs> mm-hmm. to kill him that way. And then you have the whole. Uh, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? That's, which is, that's it, which just, is insane. That movie, it's just like, I fucking hate that movie. Miss, I could never watch Goblet of Fire again and be totally the, happy. How can you miss the energy of a scene so bad? <laughs> yeah, Goblet of Fire, the book. Do you know what we're talking? Might about, be my favorite yeah. book. Okay. Did okay. you read them at all? No, I didn't read them. But I've, I I've just watched. read them as a twenty-six-year-old. <laughs> yeah, they hold up. I read Lord of the Rings as an adult. Thing, as I've not yet. I I'm, I want to. I'm I'm still on. I, I finished the main five Game of Thrones books. I'm about to start reading all the like histories of Game of Thrones that he yeah. came out came out with, because mm-hmm. uh, they're all pretty good apparently. Um, yeah. dude, my favorite Harry Potter was the third one. The, the third one is probably the best. Mo- like, if you take forget that there even are books, the third movie is probably the best movie out of the like, like technically the werewolves. <laughs> you know what werewolf should have been my answer for the myth lot that book though also but now bring it back to the books <laughs> that book they leave s- it's crazy how much they're able to leave out in a movie when yeah. when you watch that movie after reading yeah. that book they leave out so much fucking cool shit the map that harry finds was written by his dad lupin the werewolf mm-hmm. the rat guy yeah. And Sirius Black. Peter my, I knew that. Peter my brother read the books. So yeah. he, he would tell me little tidbits like yeah, that. Yeah, that shit. And and it's such a big plot point in the book. It's yeah. such like an important plot point. 
They call it, they say that in the movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. What? They say that. They the mention that it's theirs in the movie. Not in that movie. Yes, they I do. think they do. They really do. I promise they do. I mean, I'm no, it's uh, it's too big of something. I think miss. I'm. Pr- I think that they do. They absolutely do. It's in, in the uh, Shrieking Shack at the end of the movie where Lupin used to go as a boy, or the like whole climactic thing is where you're finding out that uh, Sirius Black is a bad guy. And you find out Lupin says Peter Lupin Pan and Bruce. Sirius say it like right there. It's like we made this fucking map. You know, like you're not pulling shit over on us. Like, yeah, we know all about this fucking thing. I made it. I'm telling you, bro. You can't pull nothing over on me on fucking Harry Potter. I know everything. I know everything, Chris. I know everything about you. No, no, right here. Speaking of pieces of the Marauder's backstory that were left out of the third film, the adaptation of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban never explicitly tells the viewers that Harry's dad and his friends are the ones who created the Marauder's map, even if it does drop plenty of hints about it. It does drop hints, but it never explicitly said, because I watched a video. I remember watching a video where someone else had gone over it. No, it's just pad foot prongs, all that shit, and they say, yeah, I'm pad Yeah, they say all of their... They say that, they're hinting at it, but they never explicitly say... In the movie, that no, it, like in the says, book, they're very much he like, "Hey, this is their map." He's holding the map, and he says, "Too hairy." Yeah, fucking padfoot prongs, worm tail. <laughs> oh no, I feel like you're mixing up the movie with your the the okay. book because you read the book so many times. Okay, Chris, I'm just no. saying. I, I just read Harry the thing, Potter and guy. I watched it right after. Like I remember. To, you I remember went to thinking I'm right. com. I did. Yeah, it's <laughs> right there. I, I'm right. dot com. <laughs> it's actually dot org, but <laughs> you know, that's how that that's how that goes down. What's so funny? <laughs> We'll laugh at my little joke <laughs> and not back me up. Be like, yeah, Chris is right. He's funny. It is dot org. <laughs> it's dot biz. <laughs> dot biz. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. God damn it. He got us. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Good one. Good one. You got us. Good job. Anyway, I've never we used could sit here and argue about Harry Potter all night. The, the, the real argument is that Goblet of Fire, the movie's trash. Yeah. It's the worst one. <laughs> And Charlie agrees because Charlie's unite. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, no. To be fair, the first two are very no. Like, first one's full of wonder and enjoy. Yeah, it's fun, but like in the terms of one's terrible. I would s- yeah, but I would say the first two are the most not like their book, like, or at least stray away the most from their books. Uh, no, I'd say I'd say the first one hits most of the marks. Really? Of any of of all the movies, I'd say the first one hits the marks the most. I'm talking about. The pattern of of the on the bricks, the order of sh- the shit they do, the things they say. If you watch the extended like director's cut of the first movie, well, I'm talking about there's some there's some parts of that movie. It's like they cover whole chapters. Well, that's the extended word director's cut. I'm talking now. theatrical. Why? I don't know. I'm just all fuzzy. Now. Uh, I was all fuzzy for a minute. Oh, on the ca- oh, there's you, definitely oh. a ghost in your corner. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> there's a ghost just flying in between you and the camera. Harry Potter fan, but <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Uh yeah no the first I think the first movie probably is the truest to any of the books. They take see for me it was Order of the Phoenix. For me Order of the Phoenix is pretty the the part they stray away from in Order of the Phoenix the most is like you said they stray away from Tonks's character quite a lot. I mean the whole fact that Firenze has a astrology class is just yeah doesn't happen at all yeah that doesn't happen almost any scene. With Professor That's a good Tr- point. Like maybe like two scenes. I forgot about that. There's like two or three scenes with Professor Trelawney, and Trelawney's like a huge part. Yeah, that's a good of point. That story. I misremember those whole the last four books. Peeves I isn't read in any of the movies. Yeah, that's the most ridiculous thing about the whole all the movies to me is that they can totally leave out such an un, like such an annoying but such a vital character in the plot of what goes down in a lot of the movies. There's a ghost named Peeves in there. He's, He's a poltergeist. He's a poltergeist. Right. He's a poltergeist. Peeves the poltergeist. And he's a piece of shit. <laughs> he's an asshole, and it's awesome. Really? He, he who's, lives who's to ruin only, everyone's life. The, the only, only person that can like stop him from being annoying is... Ga- uh, I almost said Gandalf. Is Dumbledore. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? Gandalf who's the, could do who's it. the only person that scares Peeves? I thought it was Dumbledore. No, no, no. Snape. Nope. Voldemort. Who, nope. Who the... Uh, Harry Potter. Oh, the fucking... Uh, the Bloody Baron. The Bloody Baron from Slytherin House. <laughs> You know how headless know Nick yeah. in the Nearly movies? Nearly headless Nick. Nearly headless. Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> it's his nickname. You don't say, this is my brother, Christopher Charles, every single time. <laughs> I'm either Chris or I'm Charlie. They do? No, they don't. No one does. Yeah, Who are you talking about? In the about? movie, they do. 
Oh, he's nearly yeah. headless well, Nick every not, time. I'm That's not, only I'm not talking about him in front of him. I'm just saying who he is. If I say headless Nick, you could also everyone call who cares Nicholas. about it. Anyway, some more headless semantics. Nick. Yes, more semantic. Headless Nick is the leader of House Gryffindor. The leader ghost, the ghost leader, whatever you want to say. And then the bloody baron in the book. Everyone has one. All the houses have a ghost yeah. <laughs> in, in the books. And the bloody baron is the only one that scares Peeves, even though he also will cower to Dumbledore <laughs> if Dumbledore's around. For sure. Dumbledore's like, shut the fuck up, Peeves. And he's like, fuck, it's Dumbledore. Okay, he could fuck me up. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ghost. And he Dumbledore can, he can, can fuck up anybody. I didn't yeah, know that. Could, That's cool. Yeah, and, and it's fucking stupid because well, he, he's also he, he delivers important plot information a few times. There's only like three people that Peeves respects. <laughs> yeah. And that's Dumbledore and the Weasley twins. Yeah, he does respect the Weasley he twins. Doesn't, now, he doesn't listen to the Weasley ten, twins. But he respects them. He respects them? Because they, they cause mayhem just like him. Well, he, that, <laughs> arguably worse. Well, see, that's the thing. Uh, what Order of the Phoenix does Fred and George leaving early. Yeah. And they do it to a touch. But the books just make you feel it. Oh, man, you feel it. The, the twins like are kinda, the best in like the books. It's like building up throughout the whole book that Fred... Okay. It's building up throughout the whole. Uh, they've decided they're not Fred, for school and that they're leaving early, and they're well, gonna they fuck pla- shit up when they leave. They already have plans. They've started doing like their mail order. Weasley, they've started the a Weasley business. Wizard Weezes, their joke shop. They've yeah. already started doing like mail orders. So they're already kind of starting the business, and they they're, they're kind of kicking around. And this is in order. Of the Phoenix is the one where they have Professor Umbridge and like the Ministry of Magic is stepping into like education, <laughs> and it's like fucking everything up. So just like building progressive throughout the year, it just hints at like Fred and George are more and more like you know what kind of like fuck this you know fuck what I'm this saying like, a little bit <laughs> and they have this like all right when they finally say fuck this yeah in like, the movie it's a bunch of fireworks during the exams and it's cool and, it's that, and they ride and it, dragons out of there and it's fucking gangster and it's that in the books as well but it's just so much bigger <laughs> but the best part of the whole thing is as they're leaving they fly out and it's not like actual dragons like. They're like you know, fireworks dragons. Fireworks they're riding dragons. their dragons. They're brooms. They're riding their brooms out. As they're leaving, they say to Peeves, they say, give them hell, Peeves. And, and Peeves <laughs> looks up, salutes them. <laughs> and goes fucking and, crazy. And then it says, as like J.K. Rowling, the narrator, uh, was saying, it's like, Peeves took that shit to heart. <laughs> <laughs> he went fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, so Peeves, has, uh, Peeves ruins everyone's had life. Peeves gone like, completely, uh, like, on the level of mayhem that had never been seen before. Like, he just went all the way out. He didn't he like, stop day and night. He ruined yeah. Umbridge's life. Like, he, it was fucking awesome. The books, man, the books are so good. They're so great. And in the books, like, Umbridge gets raped. Whoa. By the centaurs. Whoa. Wait a second. By the centaurs? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hold on. That's not... Books. That's not. Don't say Shut that. Don't, I mean, stop your smiling. That's I mean, not what happens. I, mean, <laughs> I know that that's not true. I mean, they do take her I away mean, like they do in the book, I mean, in the movie. It's implied. It's not implied <laughs> that much at all. Is that bestiality? That is, I think, no, technically. No, 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 <laughs> so it's illegal no. on her part. <laughs> nah, she could be arrested. They're animals. Yeah, anyway, that's racist. Um, <laughs> Non-human. Species? 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 They're intelligent. Species. Anyway. We gotta wrap this bitch up. Yeah, we do. Do we? Oh, shit, we do. Yeah, I just okay. want to enjoy the sun a little bit. The what? The sun? Yeah, how much, how warm it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's still noticeably chilly All for right, where we everybody. live, but compared to the last really? two weeks, it is hot as hell outside. That was the Gay Men Armistice. No, the Gay Lizard Association. Gay Lizard Association. <laughs> gay Men Armistice. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Good okay. night, everybody. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. <laughs>